Goodall and Greybeard, A Story of Trust and Friendship by Carolyn Sack. Trust is the foundation of every healthy relationship. It helps people openly express emotions. Intimate details can be shared without hesitation. Without trust, love cannot grow. Every true relationship must begin with trust. How do we build trust? How do we show others we are trustworthy? Some may use commonly used body language, facial expressions, or mutually accepted customs. When others do something out of the norm, trust may be broken. But what happens if the norm is different for each party? What if a signal of trust by one is recognized as a gesture of hate or violence by another? For many, this difference will sever any chance of a trustworthy relationship. It takes a patient person to build trust across species. Jane Goodall is one of those patient people. From as early as one year old, Jane knew she loved animals. Wild animals. Her first encounter was with a monkey named Jubilee. Over 60 years later, Jane and Jubilee are still good friends. You might even say best friends. Jane was not your typical child. She did not love animals for the cute and cuddly factor that so many other children did. She wanted to be a true scientist. Hiding for five hours in a chicken coop to see how an egg was laid was only something Jane would have the patience for. She knew from then on to learn about animals meant you need to become part of their environment. You needed to become a part of their lives. When Jane turned 18, her dream of studying wild animals started to come true. While Jane was working in London, she received an invitation from a childhood friend in Kenya. As soon as she saved enough money for a round trip, Jane was on her way. No one knew that this trip would change Jane's life forever. There, Jane met famous anthropologist Lois Leakey, and Leakey was planning on conducting an expedition in Gomi National Park in Tanzania. He believed that studying chimpanzee behavior would uncover new information about human evolution. Jane Goodall, no scientific background, no formal training, no college degree. Jane Goodall discovered more about chimpanzees than any scientist before her. With a passion and patience, Jane slowly gained the trust of many Gombe chimpanzees. She was criticized by many for being too involved in her work. True scientists, they gave their subjects numbers. Numbers created distance between the subjects and themselves. Forming personal relationships was thought to distract from proper research. Jane, however, gave her subjects names. Jane Goodall and her new friend David Greybeard undeniably disproved this theory. Before Goodall and Greybeard, chimpanzees were thought to be vegetarians. <laughs> Before Goodall and Greybeard, humans were thought to be the only species able to create tools. Greybeard showed Goodall that chimps were capable of emotions and individual personalities, similar to humans. She observed kindness towards other chimps as well as cruel bullying. They were very much similar to humans. Goodall patiently watched Greybeard and his friends from a distance for over a year until the day came. David Greybeard cautiously crept up to feed on oil palm nuts near Jane's tent. Not wanting to break trust, Jane sat in the dirt and stayed still until David finished his meal. David came back to feed on the nuts day after day, and Jane sat quietly watching day after day. Trust was still intact. Then one day, the nuts were gone. David and his friends had eaten every last one. Without fear, David snuck into Jane's tent and ate all of her banana supplies. Of course, Jane didn't mind. This was a sign of trust. It was exciting that David made his way into the tent only for food. He didn't crush or break equipment or break down her tent. He simply wanted to feast on her supplies. Trust. Jane used this as a perfect bonding experience. A few days later, she watched Greybeard return to her camp looking for food. There were no palm nuts, and Jane was safeguarding her tent. What was he to do? David curiously watched Jane pull something from her sack, a brown golden peel, and revealed the mouth-watering insides of this delicious fruit. And to Greybeard's surprise, Jane reached out her hand, offering a bite. What was this? Like shy kindergartners sharing their school lunches in hopes of making friends, David and Greybeard timidly sat next to Jane for a banana split. This was it. This was what Jane had been waiting for, a true trusting relationship with a wild chimpanzee. 
Graybeard and Gertrude's friendship did not end after this miraculous date. David came back day after day for fine dining and grooming appointments and group playdates. Other chimpanzees witnessed David and Jane's relationship and grew to trust her as well. With this trust, Jane went on to learn more about chimpanzee behavior than any, any formally trained scientist had before her. So what? Well, read on. And on. And on. And learn for yourself.